one day at a time. That is what I have realized for 2022, is that if you want to do something or you have a goal or you want to implement something into your life, one day at a time, don't focus on, I want to be organized every single day and I want to be an organized person or I want to keep my room clean or I want to go to the gym or I want to meditate or I want to be creative or I want to do whatever. Just focus on making little decisions every day and you're more likely to feckin' do it. So that's great. Um, I am starving and I have had, I had a smoked salmon bagel for breakfast, which was delicious. And then for lunch or like a snack, I had my favorite in the entire world, fuel cakes. <laughs> I need a sponsorship. I need to be sponsored by Fuel Cakes because they're my favorite things in the entire world and I have only one serving size left in this box and I didn't avail of their sale for some reason because I'm stupid. Either way, so I had them and I'm starving and I was like, why am I starving? What's going on? And then I realized <laughs> I went into my little flow app Flow, the Flow app is where I track my cycle because I'm not on like any birth control or anything like that. So I went into Flow and I track it meticulously and Flow is always on point. Flow has my cycle down. My cycle is quite regular so it's not like it's up and down. It's very, if Flow says it's happening, it's probably happening. And I am nine days out from starting my period which means that I am in the, is it the luteal phase? There's like two phases from when you get your period day one for the first two weeks and then the second two weeks, give or take. You're actually hungrier and your body needs more food, and more fuel because it's preparing, it's ovulating and it's preparing to period. That's not science, but I'd love a protein bar. I think that would just be very easy right now. So I'm like, should I eat something and walk to the gym? Wait, hold on, let's go outside and check if it's raining. Oh no, it's kind of dry. It could start raining again soon or it, it might not. I'm not sure what to do. Do I eat something, go down to the gym, come home, shower, do my hair, etc., cook dinner? Do I have nothing in the house for dinner? So realistically, I'll have to probably go get something anyway, but it's kind of, it's kind of raining, it's kind of not raining. Okay, so I have been loving this protein. Um, this is the My Protein Clear Away in the orange mango flavor. I think I told you in the last vlog, but basically what I do is I put one part or one quarter water and then three quarters sparkling water. Game changer, because it did taste kind of chalky um before that but i also have this protein which is the ghost protein in the chocolate chip cookie flavor and this is amazing this protein is delicious so yeah i'm actually maybe i'll have that in like a slice of toast or something i feel like i need carbs we're taking life one day at a time 2022 mind body soul making decisions that benefit my mind body and soul and consuming enough protein is definitely one of them because I'm back in the gym consistently. We are in week five of being back in the gym, like consistently. And by consistently, I mean like four to five or six days a week. It's never, it's only been six days, one week really. It's kind of four to five days a week. So yeah, exactly. Just taking it one day at, the, at a time, not setting massive like goals for myself, gym wise, or things that I can, I'm just saying I'm going to prioritize it as much as possible. And just always at the forefront of my mind, remember why I'm doing it as opposed to like having this like, I don't work well off like a checklist or authority. So if I'm like, you have to go to the gym five days a week and you have to eat this much protein and you have to track your macros and you have to, measure this size in your measurements or you know it's not about that for me it's about going to the gym to feel good and like you know balance in life all around 
So I was thinking, like, it's actually mad. I had a human design reading recently and the girl, Ailish, said that I'm the type of person that like, I don't really have to <laughs> work hard at like bringing things into my life. Like if I'm like, oh, I'd love a glass of red wine. If I just kind of think that thought, it will kind of just appear in my life, is what she said based on my human design. Um, so I was thinking, I was like, oh, I'd love a blender. Um, and next thing that night, my dad comes home with this. Now, obviously it's kind of only ideal for making protein shakes in, like it doesn't really blend foods or anything. Like you'd overwork the, like it's only small, you know, that kind of way. So yeah, it's just a handheld blender and you like charge it up. I think you got it like Little or Aldi, but it's called the Nutribullet Go. Good morning. Do I have morning face or like, what's going on? I feel like I have morning face. It is smoked salmon, cream cheese bagel kind of morning. Mm. It is Wednesday, the 16th of February. It's a full moon. It is full moon day besties and it's full moon in Leo. I love, I love, love, love full moons. I love full moons, I love new moons, I love working with the moon. I love being aware of when the new moon and full moon is because like last night I was really low energy and I was like, what is wrong with me? I was like, what, what's going on? Like checking in with myself. And then I was like, oh, there's a full moon tomorrow. Now it makes sense. And then I felt better, you know? Last night before I went to sleep, I was watching loads of TikToks of the color hair that I want. And I was like, nope, I'm doing it. I don't care. And now today I'm just like, do I want to do it though? Or do I want to leave this hair grow out a bit more? Like, do I want to do it in April maybe instead of now? But my only problem, because I could leave it grow out for the rest of February and like all of March, so it'd be growing a bit more by then. But then my issue is I have a wedding at the start of April. So like if I get it done before the wedding and then for whatever reason I don't like it, then I'll have to get it done back. Or if I get it done after the wedding and I'm obsessed with it, I'll be like, why didn't I get this done for the wedding? You see my issue? It's really gonna be a last minute decision, isn't it? I don't think I actually vlogged last night. I washed and styled my hair last night with the Dyson, obviously. And I was gonna curl it like I usually do. Cause what I usually do is I curl it, but then I don't put any like hair spray or anything in it. Um, and I let it fall out while I'm sleeping and it just gives this like nice blow dry wavy kind of effect. But I was too tired, too low energy to curl my entire head last night. So I just dried it with one of the round brushes. Anyway, I'm icing my face. I've started icing this side and I haven't done this side because I just felt like I had a very sleepy face. My face felt quite puffy when I woke up. So I was like, how do I fix that? And then I was like, ice. Because I wanted to get one of those cute, fun, fresh ice rollers, you know, for your face that I see everyone on TikTok using all the time. And I saw one, sorry, it's melting as I'm doing this, which is making it really <laughs> difficult, which is why people buy ice rollers. Anywho, so I saw one the last day in pennies, like an ice roller. And you know, when you see something in pennies and you're like, I should buy that. I want one of those. But then you just don't buy it or you go into a different section, you forget about it or whatever happens. I just feel like this probably wakes up your face and my face needs to be woken. Especially around my eyes, like they are just not, they are just swollen this morning for some reason. Ow! Okay, the water's not saying it's going away. Oh, having my morning monster. Cheers. Yes, I realize that my face is soaking now. Also water. It is oil cleanse time. I actually skipped my oil cleansing last night 
because I was just exhausted. So I just did a quick cleanse and went to bed. The full moon had me drained, but it is still a full moon day. Um, so I'm gonna cleanse my skin now, reply to a very important email, and then reply to a very important email and then do my full moon rituals because I have a meeting early in the morning, like an hour and a half long meeting tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So I do these like consulting calls for people where I help them with their social media and brainstorm ideas and stuff like that. So I have to be very turned on for the meeting. So it's at 10 a.m. And so I want to be up and awake and have my brain kind of switched on. So I want to wake up early, just so I'm like fully awake and caffeinated and hydrated and fed <laughs> before the meeting. So yeah, it's like 8 p.m. Sorry, my dad's on the phone and if you can't tell, we're a very loud family. <laughs> That's what you get when you have one Scorpio, two Geminis, a Leo and a Taurus. Not last night, but the night before I got sleep paralysis because I listened to a sleep meditation before I went to sleep, but I fell asleep like lying flat on my back. And if I fall asleep like that, sometimes I get sleep paralysis, which is stunning and also like I want to be able to sleep on my back, you know, for wrinkles and aging and all that stuff. So it's quite annoying. I'm really deciding, trying to decide where I want to go and what, well, I know where I want to go, but I don't know how I can get back there at this very moment in time. So I'm like, do I want to go somewhere else while I'm waiting or will I just wait here? But to be honest, I'm kind of craving sunshine. <laughs> so yeah, I think maybe April, May, June, I might move somewhere for three months maybe. And we're gonna decide where. I'm happy out where I am right now. Um, also, I need to figure out what outfit I'm gonna wear for a wedding. Oh, this is so nice. I could oil cleanse like all day and all night if I wanted to. Um, this is the oil cleanser I'm using. If you've never watched any of my videos before, maybe you don't know, it's the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. It's literally my favorite. I'll link it down below. I've gotten really bad with linking things in the bio recently. I used, my bio used to be like full of links of everything I mentioned, everything I use. And then I just got lazy with it. So I will indeed be filling that in again and there will be links to everything um, that I mentioned throughout the vlogs in the description box. So, oh, okay, I'm gonna finish oil cleansing, but I'm actually gonna watch a YouTube video because it's very relaxing. It is freezing it is so cold there has been a massive storm in ireland today called storm eunice which has brought hailstones snow rain wind but i helped my dad this morning and i went to the gym and i just finished up work and i just signed a new client <sighs> life's good but i do have a headache and I'm cold. Also, my skin's having a bit of a mare. Also, my face was so swollen this morning because I had chow mein for dinner last night. And I think there was like too much salt in it or something. Um, I got it from Lana, so there's like no MSG in it or whatever, but obviously my face just reacted in swelling. So my face was very swollen this morning. But you know what's very exciting? I put on my story during the week when I was icing my face with like a literal ice cube that I need to get an ice roller. And next thing a company, a skincare company messaged me or the marketing manager for a skincare company who follows me, shout out, you know who you are, 
messaged me and she was like, we can't have you using ice in your face. And they're sending me out some ice rollers, like face ice rollers. So that hasn't arrived yet, but it will. And oh yeah, it's Friday and I was, I know I was supposed to get my hair done today. I had an appointment for this morning, but I actually ended up having to reschedule the hair appointment until Monday. So the hair transformation is not going to be in this vlog. I'm so sorry. And I also made a slight exciting life decision. And also I sliced the middle of my hand open trying to cut an avocado. So I'm sorry, it's, I'm terrified. Actually, that's why I picked up my vlog camera. I'm terrified to wash my hair. Cause I, I don't want to, imagine getting your hair. Do you know when you put, I can't even talk about it. like, if I was washing my hair and then the hair like went into the cut. So I'm gonna see if we have waterproof plasters downstairs. Like what a place to have a cut in your hand. There's no, I was, I we have like two really sharp knives downstairs and I was cutting my avocado, like the nut, just you know the way you hold the avocado and you go like this to get the nut out or else I do. Maybe it's, maybe it's not the best thing, thing to be doing. Like maybe it's slightly dangerous, but I was, I was trying to cut the avocado and <laughs> the knife went straight through the avocado nut and into my finger or into my hand. So it's been an eventful day or two since I've seen you last. Okay, shower time, charge the camera. I think, do I want to? See, I have a hair appointment Monday, but I don't know, will my hair last till Monday? I mean, I could make it last. Oh, when did I wash my hair last? I think it was like two or three days ago. I think I'm gonna text my hairdresser and ask her, does she want my hair? very fresh going in to get my hair done Monday or does she want it a bit dirty? Because sometimes depending on the colour you're going, having your hair like a slight bit dirty helps. Good morning, happy Saturday. Okay, so I had a bit of a predicament this Saturday morning because if you watched last week's vlog, you will know I wanted to go to the farmer's market. But I woke up this morning and it's like raining, not raining, raining, not raining. And it's very cold. So I was like, do I walk to the farmer's market, get the almond croissant, walk home and then eat it? Or do I, which would take maybe about half an hour total between walking, I don't drive by the way, <laughs> between walking down and walking back. Or, I was like, do I walk down and eat it there? But like, it's too cold and miserable to like sit on a bench and enjoy my almond croissant. So, and also all my girls are around next weekend. We're having like a girls night on Saturday. So I was like Saturday morning, one of them who drives, cause they all do. I will tell someone that we're going to the farmer's market Saturday morning. Cause I think that'll set the tone for the day. So I was like, if I'm going next weekend, there's no point going this weekend cause I'll ruin it. So, anywho, that leads me to the point that I made a freezer croissant again this morning. I think it's just a cute Saturday ritual to like have with yourself. Also, it's just so good. We also have a freezing cold can of White Monster, of course. And also, I did something very uncharacteristically me this morning. Like I did something totally out, out of character. And the only reason I did it was I was motivated to film a TikTok. But I wanted to do like the first hour of my day and like try to be, like use the first hour of my day other than lying in my bed scrolling on my phone. So I got up and I had left my room and office get kind of messy, like clothes wise. They were just all over the floor. I had to put on a clothes wash. It was just all messy. So I got up straight away, cleaned and organized everything. So now the place is clean and it's only 10 a.m. Stunning. And I organized everything and I got a bit of work done as well. Oh my God, my monster is the perfect temperature. Do you know what I did? 
I left it in the freezer a little too long. But then I took it out and I let it sit for about 10 minutes while I was hanging out the washing. I swear to God, I've done so much today. And I think my plan for the day is I have to go to town. I actually have to write a list of what I need because if I don't, then I'll forget it. <laughs> oh my God, besties. Do you see the size of these boxes? The universe is obviously rewarding me for, oh, it's my address there. <laughs> my address is on both of them, obviously. And my name. Oh, this box is upside down. Is it? I'm not sure. The universe is obviously rewarding me for getting up and organizing my room and getting my work done this Saturday morning because I thought deliveries on Saturday morning were only a Christmas thing, but obviously not. So I've got two big boxes. Um, so we're gonna unbox them. The first one is this blue box and I actually know who the blue box is from. So I think I told you during the week I was icing my face with an ice cube and I posted an Instagram story being like, I really need to get ice rollers. And so I'd seen them in pennies and then I went back and they weren't there and yada, yada, yada. And basically the marketing manager for this company follows me on Instagram. You never know who's following you besties, you never know. And she was like, oh my God, we have to get you ice rollers. Like, let me send you some. Of course I said yes, why would I say no? So the company is Monica Tolan Beauty and I've heard so much. They're based in Dublin and they're like skincare experts. I've heard so many people like going there. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay, the box is lovely. Why did he handed me both of the boxes upside down? This is it, Monica Tolan Beauty, thank you. I'm so grateful, sorry. As <laughs> I hadn't been getting like regular PR for a while. I think with PR kind of ebbs and flows, depending on if brands want to send you stuff or not. And ever since I've been adding it into a segment in the vlogs, I'm getting stuff, so that's lovely. But anywho, oh my God, wait, there's a little envelope with my name on it, sorry. Oh my God, this box smells, stor it smells, Stunning. Oh my God, what's in here? Oh, it's like the information of everything. Oh, and this is the girl. Shout out Emma. Do you know what? Some people might think that being geeky and dorky over getting stuff from brands is embarrassing or like, you know, I don't know. They might be like, Rebecca, you know, you have an Instagram page. Like, why, why are you going through everything? But I just so appreciate it. And also like, the the presentation of this box the let like the personalized letters the brands that get it get it and the brands that don't don't and this monica tolan gets it i'm so happy to reach out to you via instagram i followed you on my personal account for a while now love your content really honest and organic i've included a few fab products for you so they didn't just send me the ice rollers and have consulted with Sonia, our senior skin consultation manager, and she has recommended supplements to add to my routine. I know you have a skincare routine, skincare product routine in place at the moment, but I think these supplements would be a super addition. See how they didn't send me new skincare because they know I have, like, I love youth to the people. So they sent me stuff that they know I would use. Smart. I've included an explanation of the supplements, here too, okay, and the cryo globes. The white boxes are second generation cryo globes which have, which have not been launched yet because the launch is in March. The knit, oh my God, they've sent both. As is, you know I love skincare. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Sorry, I'm just so excited. Oh my God, these were on my list for today to get cotton pads. And always when I use cotton pads, I'm like, I shouldn't be using cotton pads. And they sent me a reusable cloth cloud. It's called for like cleansing. Stunning. Okay, into the good stuff. We have a Skin Biome Power Duo. So these are all like skincare supplements. So this one is a 10 day course. 
Skin Youth Biome and Skin Clear Biome. Oh my God, my skin is gonna be, well, she broke it all down on this other page, so I could just read that. Skin Biome Power Duo is the perfect course for anyone looking to explore the benefits of skin-friendly bacteria. Synergized with microbiome technology, Skin Biome Power Duo features a 10-day supply of each capsule to nurture the connection between a healthy gut and glowing skin. Stunning. Oh, we have, okay, skin vitamin C supplements, which are these, and skin omegas. Okay, so she broke these down as well. So this is by the brand, it's the Advanced Nutrition Program, and I've seen people talking about these before. Um, so the skin omegas are re recommended for overall skin health. It's like an internal moisturizer for the skin. It gives your skin a luminous glow. It nourishes dry skin all over the body and supports skin health. I have a wedding in April and my skin is gonna be glowing. Oh, okay, what else is in here? What is this? Okay, there's something in this pink bag. What is in this pink bag? Oh, oh no, I'm so excited. It's a gua sha, but it's like one of those heavy, like good quality gua sha's with a little bag for the gua sha. This is my gua sha bag, besties. And you know what? I actually, I have glass gua sha's, like the rose quartz one and, and stuff, but for traveling, which I may or may not be doing sometime soon in my life, they break like I've broken a lot of gua sha's because they're glass or like so they break easily and like Monica Tolan is bougie as you can probably tell so like this gua sha is definitely better than the one I have then they sent me a little environ like sample moisturizer thing oh side side note these cryo globes so they're like icing your face so Joe you know when you see people like rolling their face with the ice roller. I know loads of people were getting like ones on Amazon and stuff like that. The benefits of the globes is they enhance circulation of blood flow, they smooth and tighten the skin which can minimize the appearance of enlarged pores and they also work to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And besties I get like swollen face in the morning so I'm going to show you the navy box just because I'm really not sure can I show you the new ones before they launch them. So I'll show you them when they're launched. And I'm just gonna look at them myself. So what do I do with this? Woo! So what do you do? You roll it. Oh, oh my god. They soothe high temperature, reduce swelling. Um You can work in your masks or your hyaluronic acid. However you use, choose to involve these tools, I hope they remind you to take time out for yourself and realize how important skincare is because it's so important. Or self-care is. Self-care, skincare, self-care and skincare. Yeah, they reduce inflammation in the skin and like my skin is just always very, like swollen in the mornings. I'm so excited. Oh my God, thank you so much. For some reason I haven't got a new memory card yet, but anyway, the new ones come with a bag, which I'm not going to show you. And they come with like a card and they look, do they look different? Oh, they do. The new ones are like a different color. Okay, fun. Box number two is huge. I think I know who this is from, but I don't want to say until. So a pharmacy in Dublin, like a chemist or a pharmacy that carries like loads of beauty stuff, reached out to me via email and basically was like, we love following you. We love how honest you are, your authenticity, everything like that and they said that they would love to send me a box of stuff because they are based in Dublin but they also like ship all over Ireland um, and they have a website and stuff 
and so the name is Roaches Pharmacy and they're based in Dublin. I'll have all the I'll have the link below. But they basically were like, do you want to pick out stuff from the website or do you want us to send us stuff based on what we think you'll like? And I was like, Joa, you, know you send me stuff based on what you think I like. Because I always think that's fun. And also, like, why not have loads of surprises? So we're going to unbox this together. This is going to be a lot because it is a big box. But I'm just going to show you everything they sent me and just talk quite quickly through it. Ooh, they sent me the Bellamyanta Illuminating Body Liquid, which is very exciting because, again, as I said, I have a wedding in April. They sent me, I'm not going to have to buy stuff for ages. They sent me glycolic acid, which I've actually been wanting low key. Apparently it's really good for like your underarms. Don't ask, it is. And then they sent me, <laughs> there is so, I, sorry, is it Christmas? It feels like Christmas. Ooh, like a uh, hand and body cream from this Australian brand called Peppermint Grove. And it's champagne flavored, which Joe was really funny. As a child, I was obsessed with bubble wrap. And I remember when I was younger for one of my birthdays, one of my neighbors came over and like gifted me a picture frame when I was like, maybe I was 12, maybe I was younger. And she gifted me a picture frame, like to put in my bedroom or whatever. And like, obviously as a 12 year old, I was literally more excited by the bubble wrap. And like, I remember like being so excited and playing with the bubble wrap, like immediately whilst opening the present and like <laughs> not even looking at the frame okay so these are skincare bits Ooh, this brand is called svor and this is a purifying and exfoliating soap free cleanser and it's made in france i've never heard of this brand but like that sounds nice absolutely stunning and then i think there's another product in here from that brand i need to google that brand I love getting sent stuff from new brands. Um, oh, this is the, again, the brand SV Or, but it's the micro peel. It says it's renewing water, unclogging, smoothing. Combination to oily skin, pore spots and blackheads. And again, it's SV Or Paris. So if anyone knows anything about that brand, uh, please, please, please let me know in the comments, but I will be researching it because I just love so many things from so many different brands. Happy Vita, this brand, they sent me the Intense Repair Nourish and Repair Shampoo, Olive and Honey. This definitely, oh my God, that smells stunning. Oh, it's like 90% natural. And then this, I've always wanted to try this and I've actually never tried it because I love the essential oils from this company and it is the Total De-Stress Bath and Shower Wash. I need to smell it. I need to smell it right now. This smells like a spa. I actually, like, ah! Oh my God, there's so many bits. We're not even halfway through. I think this is another gua sha. You can never have enough gua sha's, can you? Oh, they sent me some of my favorite products. This vlog is literally just going to be called Be One Unboxing. Oh my god. No, but like, no, but like, no. They sent me my favorite cleanser, which is the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser, which I'm actually nearly out of. I alternate the CeraVe one with my Youth to the People one. And then they sent me more stuff from this SV Or brand. So they sent me an intensive care spots blackheads oh it's like um something that you put on a spot like a spot treatment thing this brand like payot payo definitely pronouncing that wrong and there is in this a gua sha headband and like the oil to use face face beauty oil so it's like the oil that you put on because when you gua sha you have to have like something on your face so that the gua sha doesn't pull it Amazing, amazing, amazing. We're still not even halfway through. Oh, they sent me loads of bits from Pathology and that was actually on my list of things to get today because I am obsessed with the Pathology eye masks. 
and they sent me the Patchology eye masks. They sent me the Patchology lip gels, the Patchology pedicure for your feet, and uh, sheet masks. Stunning, beautiful. They were on my list to get today, the Patchology eye gels, because the Patchology eye gels. I just feel like I want to add them into my daily life more. What is this? This, oh my God, are these more beauty supplements? I got more beauty supplements. It's the collection. So it's the Hush and Hush Wellness Essentials Collection. So it's, so there is the, oh, that's very exciting. There is the Mind Your Mind food supplement and the Time Capsule food supplement, which has collagen in it. And if you watch my last vlog, you know what was happening to me with the collagen that I bought. These sent me some Butler's chocolates. Cute. Way to my heart, food. What is this? There are so many things. We have a toner, purifying toner. We have a cleansing cream, stunning. Stunning. I'm not gonna have to buy beauty bits for the longest. Ooh, LA Girl Brow Bestie Long Wearing Gel. That's very exciting. I love a brow gel. Sorry, the note from this one was at the bottom. So maybe the bottom was the top. If you don't know now, you know I'm a card girl. And when I say that, I say that I have been privy to buy, <laughs> like I am I love cards so much that I have one time bought someone like three cards because I couldn't make a decision when they were graduating, like three different cards. Dear Rebecca, hope you're well. Enclosed are some bits we think you'll love. As always, we value your honest opinion, so please let us know how you get on. Uh, P.S. Thank you for being a source of positivity on Insta. Love your content. Elaine. This is so cute. As I already said, the brands that get it, get it. The brands that don't, don't. Like this is how you gift someone. And I'm not talking about the volume of the stuff. I'm talking about the thought. They're not just gifting me and 50 other people the same thing with like a note being like, hope you love these, you know. There's like, what's the words at the top of my, oh, I got, oh, I'm very excited. Oh, I'm very excited because I need a new bronzer. And they sent me the Sculpted by Amy Connolly, which is an Irish brand. They sent me her bronzer. And they sent me a bronzing brush. And they sent me the Bella Mianta tanning lotion in the shade Dark. And again, I have a wedding in April and I don't wear tan often, but when I do, it's actually Bella Mianta. Fun fact about me. So that is stunning. And there's still more. No, I can't cope. What is this? <laughs> there's two more things. Two more things. <laughs> what is happening? My mom's gonna have a field day. She's gonna have a field day. She's gonna be like, show me what you got. What don't you want? And that's what I kind of love. Like obviously I'm one person. So, you know, I'll pick, I always pick like from everything that I get gifted. I'm one person, I have one body. I can't use everything, but anything that kind of won't, that I know I'll definitely use, I'll keep, obviously. And then like, I also like to give my mom stuff because she deserves it. Ooh, this is the same hair brand. So it's Api Vida and it is a nourish and repair hair mask. And you already know we love a hair mask. Olive oil and honey, like beautiful. Let's see what we have last last but certainly not least in this massive nourishing dry hair shampoo which i've heard about this i think this is really good if you have dry scalp and i have been privy to dry scalp now thankfully i haven't got it in a while but that is there then we got another thing from noria uriage this is the new skin serum which refines skin texture, which I have. And then, oh, a face and body massage bar that literally smells like a spa from that brand, Payo, Payot again. Thank you so much to 
Roche's Pharmacy and to Monica Dolan. Like, and I love that there, you know, I was showing the Monica Dolan stuff, which is more like high end stuff, a bit more like, lux not luxurious, a bit more like if your budget is higher, where obviously the stuff from Roche is like, Patchology is a very affordable brand. Belmianta, Yoriage, I know is a very affordable brand. V, Belmianta, Inky List. So we have both and I will be using both, but this is the best thing ever. Like I love this so much. What did I need to go buy? Toothbrush? Because <laughs> I have everything else.